Hi everybody, uh, this is Doug Richardson here again. I just want to show you something here in the back of my uh, WordPress blog. I'm just going to click on add a new post. And then we get here, here's where you normally would put your title. And then we'll come down here and if you'll notice I have an extra row here. Well within this row as you can see it says YouTube, there's Viddler, several other of the video sites. Um, this is a plugin that you can get. It's called Tiny MCE. That's Tiny Michael Charlie Echo. And what that does, folks, is it gives you the uh, similar abilities of, of using um, Word. And so it makes it quite a bit easier for me when I'm composing my posts. You can click on like the YouTube and then it'll take you directly to YouTube and then you can put in your embed code and uh, just transfer the video right back and uh, onto your uh, post. Also something else that I found quite helpful is you go down here here's the um, spell check but right next to that is a button It's called the kitchen sink and if you click on it then this whole row appears and as you can see uh, it gives the ability to change your font size which is really quite nice actually so you can uh, change that up a little bit then you can also click on the paragraph button here and you can do headers and paragraphs just like you would normally do in Word and I'll just type a little here to whoops that didn't work so let's go back and do this again change my font size to 18 and I'll click on it again and wow look how big they are now <laughs> Then you can go down here at the A, click on that, and here's a whole palette of color. So I'm going to change it to red and then type with the red. And then it gives you the ability that you can highlight just like if you were in Word and you can bold it out like that or you can bold in italics. And it gives you all that uh, nice capability. Plus, right down here, this is the little emotions button. And if you click on that, then Here's all these little emotion guys that you might want to throw into a post now and then. And when you put these in, you have to go and uh, click on the M, uh, excuse me, the HTML in order to do that. And basically, you know, that's all I really wanted to show you today. But it, it sure helped me to be able to change the color and the uh, font sizes. I find um, a, an aerial font to be a much nicer, cleaner looking and, and easier to read font. So with that, uh, I'll say I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.